Hello everyone. A prose who concept carcinogenesis theory and molecular mechanisms volume three second part molecular carcinogenesis a prose asilolo independent researcher. Cancer is a systemic disease. It involves the body as well as mental and emotional components. Cancer cells act like parasites and often develop their own blood supply, which takes protein and other nutrients from the rest of the body. When cancer cells and tumors are consuming much of the nutrients of the body the body starves and this is called cachexia causes for cancer are many but a preponderance of research point so three main causes and most probably a combination of them poor nutrition mental and emotional stress and toxins in food, cosmetics, household cleaners, water, air, or literally anything that is breathed, placed on the skin, or otherwise consumed, we have a lot to correct to achieve collective health. What is the hyalum? Hyalum. Isoflavones found in soy have been shown to inhibit angiogenesis, the growth of blood vessel used to supply to tumor with nourishment for growth. Protease inhibitors found in soybeans have been proven to prevent the activation of genes that can cause cancer. Soy isoflavones are also known for their ability to stimulate differentiation, causing cancerous cells to change back into healthy non-cancerous cells and they inhibit Cancer cell growth 20 isoflavones mimic estrogen in the body, however, they are significantly less potent in comparison to natural estrogen. Estrogens 21 these isoflavones. Or phytoestrogens successfully compete with estrogen for the limited number of hormone receptor size and as a result cellular estrogen levels decrease as many cancer are related to excesses. Estrogen concentrations, this is a positive step in preventing those cancerous conditions. In addition, isoflavones are superior antioxidants which reduce cell damage that may lead to cancer and other diseases. To any tofu and soy products contain a high concentration of isoflavones. However, to reach Therapeutic levels of these isoflavones supplementation is recommended. Some research have been co cautioning that unfermented soy products are actually steroid inhibiting. Hyalin is a con concentrated, especially fermented soy beverage developed in China as a hospital nutrition supplement 
It is rich in anti-cancer nutrients, including the two main isoflavones, genistein and diitzein. There are seven other known isoflavones differing slightly in molecular structure and protease inhibitor. These prevent the mutation of health cells into cancerous cells. It also is rich in proteins, selenium, zinc, and vitamins A, B1, B2, B12, C, D, E, and K. Hyalin is an FDA approved food category product. Hyalin is made from organically grown soybeans grown in Mongolia, China. The soybean is then hydrolyzed or broken into smaller molecules that become bioactive. Three form amino acid and isoflavones. Finally, the substance is nitrogenated. When in the free form the isoflavones are more readily used by the cells since they are no longer attached to other compounds such as protein. Cancer cells require high level of nitrogen. The nitrogenation process of hyalin is a pivotal step because the nitrogen molecule attached to the isoflavone during nitrogenation acts as bait to dilute cancer cells into ingesting not only the nitrogen but also the anti-cancer agent or isoflavones, soy powders, drinks and tofu don't provide these benefits as halen does. Not only do they lack the concentration of isoflavones, protein, vitamin, selenium, antioxidants and protease inhibitors found in hyalin. They also don't have the bound nitrogen molecule that weights the cancer cells to ingest nutrients that can ultimately diminish their ability to survive hyalin. It has been shown to support the body at a cellular level. 13, 14, and to have the asynergistic effect in the body that stimulates and supports the immune system and internal organs making the body a hosting place for cancer or any other chronic disease such as HIV, HIV, AIDS. One who has a healthy and strong body is not able to have cancer or any chronic debilitating. Hyalin also displayed an ability to support the liver and resisting oxidizing damage. Hyalin was proven effective in protecting the liver from toxic effects of poisoning. Genes and cancer. The cells in the human body work together, dividing and reproducing in a strictly controlled and coordinated fashion. This collaboration keeps each tissue at the size, shape and architecture appropriate to the needs of the body. Cancer cells violate this collaborative ethos becoming road traders that persuade their own agendas for proliferation. All cells occur mutations over their lifetime, but most are quickly repaired by the cells. Maintenance machinery
the machinery is not foolproof. However, and if mutations are missed in two classes of gene that control growth proton cogenes and tumor suppressor genes, the cancer cycle can begin. Accumulation of mutations, the growth control gene is mutated in a single cell, excessive growth begins. Further mutations in tumor suppressor genes allow the tumor to resist signals to undergo programmed cell death. Other mutations promote angiogenesis, new blood vessels grow to the tumor, providing nutrients. Metastasis mutations allow the cancer cell to colonize other parts of the body. Proton cogenes genes that encourage the growth of the cell. A mutation can turn one of these genes into a cancerous oncogen that derives excessive cell division. Oncogenes can encode signaling molecules such as growth factors or com components of the signaling cascades that regulate and mediate the cellular responses to such signaling molecules. Tumor suppressor genes, genes that stop excessive growth of the cell if a cell starts to divide excessively its neighbors send inhibiting factors to quieten it down. Such factors either act directly or trigger inhibitory factors in the road cell. A key pause in the development of cancer cell comes when it develops one or more mutations in so-called tumor suppressor genes which enable it to ignore its neighbors or a critical component of the cascades inside the cell that receive and process the signal other mutations can disable proteins such as p53 which trigger the cell to commit suicide undergo apoptosis if its dna becomes damaged or its signaling cascades go out of control if a cell becomes cancerous and begins dividing rapidly the daughter cells pile up in a mass but as the mass expands it needs to increase its supply of oxygen and nutrients the production of factors that promote the growth of new blood vessels when this occurs, hundreds of new capillaries converge on the tumor which gain the supplies it needs to grow in size. Methylation could be a reversible key to cancer. That the gene was silenced in a high percentage of lung cancer by a chemical modification process known as methylation, a process by which methyl groups are added to certain specific deoxyribonucleic acid DNA sequences in the genome. Methylation is a very interesting process because it is reversible unlike unlike the other genetic changes present in cancer cells. This discovery could have implications for risk assessment and lead to improved cancer prevention and treatment therapies. High frequency of methylation in the RARB, R -A -R -B gene the gene was methylated in 72% at 
of small cell lung cancer and 41% of non-small cell lung cancer, tumors and cell lines. Further studies show that when the gene was methylated, its expression was turned off, so that confirmed that methylation was shutting off gene expression. R ARB gene silos in cancer cells could be chemically reactivated. Exposure of the cancer cell to the demethylation agent 5 aza 2 deoxycetylene restored gene expression. The investigation of gene expression in eight cell lines revealed complete agreement between aberrant methylation of the promoter and repression of the of isoforms of gene. Unlike many of the genetic changes in cancer methylation is a reversible phenomenon. Gazda said we can theoretically administer a demethylating agent to cancer patients and the genes that are shut off by methylation can be turned on our prediction is that this could now stop the cancer cell from being a cancer cell silencing of the RARB gene by methylation appears to be important in the development of breast and cervical cancer as well. There are about 50 genes known to be silenced by methylation in different cancer types. Oxidative theory of cancer. Each cell has a biochemical machinery for be behaving as a cancer cell. Each cancer cell has the capacity for normalizing its behavior. What is the evidence for my viewpoint? A cancer cell is an aerobic healthy cell before it becomes a predominantly anaerobic cell as a result of oxidative injury to its DNA, DNA repair enzymes and possibly some regulatory proteins according to my theory presented here. How does it happen when a colon cancer cell reverts back to its earlier form? Recall a forgotten memory and venin to make carcinoembryonic antigen. Carcinoembryonic antigen material used to diagnose colon and other cancers. When well differentiated cancers lost their differentiation and become de differentiated. Ontogeny, follow phylogeny is the common uh, scientific expression for such regression. What turns a healthy oxyphil cell into uh, oxyphob? Oxidative injury, why do cancer cells develop a strong negative charge? Evidently, it can happen in two ways cancer cell membranes accumulate negatively charged electrons in response to changes in their environment and two they do so in response to metabolic changes taking place within them such as speeded up anaerobic metabolism that increases acidotic stress and excessive production of hydrogen peroxide. Since free floating cancer cells 
metastasize freely, multiply and flourish in otherwise healthy tissue. It seems probable that the strong negative charge developed on the surface on the cancer cell in order to provide a counterbalance to the strong positive charge within it. Next came the expected question if reversal of a strong negative surface charge results in the tumor regression. It is not clear evidence that the cell innards might also respond to changes in the surface charge in other words cancer is a reversible phenomenon this provides additional challenge to the prevailing dogma that cancer is caused by mutated genes and that genes once mutated can't become unmutated slowly the concept evolved in my mind that cancer represent abnormal growth and replication behavior of the cell in response to changes in its electromagnetic and biochemical microenvironment and that such abnormal growth behavior is reversible if the microenvironmental factors that cause it to become errant are removed. Human colon cancer cells that lack a specific program cell that trigger can avoid being killed by a drug that is widely used to prevent the development of colon cancer. The finding suggests that drug therapy aimed at preventing cancer might be improved by taking into consideration the ability of cancer cells to produce mutations that shut down normal cells that pathways. Cancer occurs when a cell's metabolism is affected by chemicals or drugs Prime example are amyl nitrate causing Kaposi sarcoma and saccharin causing bladder cancer. Radiation is well recognized as the cause of many types of tumor. The common denominator, however, depends on whether the immune system is healthy enough to deal with these aberrations and destroy them before they overcome the host. Telomerase cause the death cause the death of human cancer cell by inhibiting telomerase the enzyme capable of immortalizing human cells. The use of antitelomerase synthetic inhibitors, they should prevent the recovery of residual cancer cells following conventional therapy and thus make them more susceptible to attack by the immune system or killing by existing therapeutic agents. Telomerase activity is widely recognized as a marker of cancer cells and its activity has been correlated with tumor aggressiveness in a number of studies while most normal cells have, have finite lifespans and don't contain telomerase more than 90% of cancer cells which divide indefinitely contain telomerase proved that telomerase was sufficient to immortalize normal human cell growing in the laboratory and that progressive shortening of telomerase 
specific short pieces of deoxyribonucleic acid DNA that telomerase at, adds back to the ends of chromosome is the biological clock that governs how many times a cell divides because telomerase has an essential ribonucleic acid RNA component that acts as a template for adding back telomeres to the ends of chromosomes. Core and colleagues design short pieces of RNA and DNA to bind to the telomerase RNA. RNA template and block the enzyme's activity. These synthetic inhibitors belong to a family of molecules already being tested in clinical trials for other diseases. In the theory, telomerase inhibition should prevent the addition of new telomere but not cause immediate cell death. With each successive cell division, the telomere length should decrease as seen in normal human cells that have no telomere until you do shorten telomere length the cells die. Research has found that tumors have many ways to prevent an immune response. For example, tumor cells are able to deliver the wrong signals to T cells, white blood cells, reducing their number or ability to fight cancer cells. Vaccine trials on animals and humans have found that T cells or other parts of the immune system can be made to recognize and attack cancerous tissue. Attacking a cancer cell's blood supply is called antiangiogenic therapy. This new line of research explores ways in which blood vessels can can be blocked from forming and providing fresh nutrients and oxygen to cancer cells. Previous lab research has shown that the growing network of blood vessels in tumors seems to be crucial step in allowing a tumor to become a large malignant growth capable of spreading to other organs. Knowledge is growing rapidly in the area of lifestyle and behavioral factors. Cancer protein. Researchers have identified a protein in cells that normally thwarts the spread of tumors. When the gene that produces this protein is mutated, it may allow tumors to invade other parts of the body more easily. Taipei and colleagues identified the protein called CRMP1 by comparing the genes of cells from different lung cancers with varying ability to invade and spread. CRMP1 represents an invasion suppressor with potential, potential relevance to human disease. Cancer detection and prevention Unlike normal cell, cancer cells have lost checkpoint control and have uncontrolled proliferation drive. If such un uncontrolled proliferative drive in cancer cell collides with blocks at checkpoints, 
it may generate conflicting signals thereby inducing synergistic cell that in contrast normal cells should be transiently delayed in their proliferation cycle at this checkpoint in a regulated fashion rather than being induced to die cancer cells were treated with b lapacon beta lapacon compound inducing cell cycle delay at checkpoint in late g1 as fast and taxol that arrest cell at g2 divide m Cell cycle analysis shows that cancer cell treated with beta lapacon plus taxol were delayed at multiply checkpoint prior to committing to apoptosis in normal human epithelial cells. The observed irreversible retardation of the proliferation with no cell that at the concentrations use this multiply checkpoint their therapy mcp exhibits unusually potent anti-tumor activity in vivo this multiply checkpoint therapy is a potential anti-cancer strategy which selectively induces cell that in tumor cells cell that the discovery of the protein that causes healthy cells to die has opened up a novel approach to cancer therapy two keys proteins present in normal cell called p53 and uh, protein retinoblastoma what are crucial signaling proteins involved in controlling the rate at which cells grow and divide they are the cells breaking mechanisms which cells use to stop growth and division they are the opposite of oncogenes which are acting to the accelerator in a car for the tumor to proliferate both P53 and PRB are inactivated while the oncogenes are overactive. PRB which is protein called E2F which pushes cells into growth in the absence of PRB P53 this tumor suppressors protein is activated by stress or damage caused by agents such as oxygen starvation heat toxic chemicals UV light or ionizing radiation the P53 arrests the cell cycle to give the cell time to repair itself and it is particularly sensitive to damage to the chromosomal DNA. In cancer cell, the P53 mechanism becomes inactive and so far the focus of pharmaceutical interest has been on finding ways to repair the P53 function to overcome tumor cell progression when p53 is activated there are two possible fates for the cell it can stop growing repair itself then start growing again the other is cell that apoptosis a natural process which occurs when the cell is in poor condition Elegic acid. Elegic acid 
may be one the most potent way to fight cancer. Allergic acid is found in red raspberries. Allergic acid is a phenolic compound, is a proven anti-carcinogen, anti-mutagen, and anti-cancer initiator. At the Hollings Cancer Institute, indicates that allergic acid slows the growth of abnormal colon cells in humans, prevents the development of cells infected with human papillomavirus, which is linked to cervical cancer and promote apoptotic growth, natural death of prostate cancer cells. The apoptotic process triggered by this antioxidant also has been beneficial effects on breast, lung, esophageal and skin cancer, melanoma. Allergic acid is a phenolic compound that has become known as a potent anti-carcinogenic, anti-mutagenic compound. It also has antibacterial and antiviral viral properties. Allergic acid itself is not thought to be natural present in plants. Instead, polymers of gallic acid and hexahydroxydiphenol are linked to glucose centers to form the class of compound known as elagitanis. When two allergic acid groups became linked side by side with an atanin molecule, an HHDP group is formed. Allergic acid is the result when the HHDP group is cleaved from the tannin molecule and spontaneously rearranges. It is the LAG tannins that are present in red raspberry. Allergic acid acts as a scavenger to bind cancer causing chemicals making them inactive it inhibits the ability of other chemicals to cause mutations in bacteria in addition allergic acid from red raspberries prevents binding of carcinogens to dna and reduces the incidence of cancer in cultured human cells exposed to carcinogens.